Hi, Chidoti. Well done tonight. Uh, a fabulous little cameo. Can I take you back, though? And sorry to just throw this straight at you, but pre-match, uh, the players are taking the knee. You're probably taking the knee on the bench as well. Were you were you shocked and, and, and disappointed by what you heard? Um, yeah, I was obviously disappointed um, because, you know, we all go through different you know, different stories and different histories in, in, in our lives. And this is something that, you know, obviously black people have been fighting for many years and discrimination and racism is, you know, there's no place for it in any sport and, you know, any place. So I was quite, dis I was quite disappointed, um, but it is what it is. Um, you know, we, we stood strong and, you know, I'm so happy that we as a team took the knee to show solidarity between, between us all. Are we getting a translation, Kieran? No, there's no translation. No, you can't. Oh, there's no translation. Sorry. No. Could just do a follow-up question then. Sadly, we've seen it in England. Uh, I'm sure you've been aware, even though you've been away in Spain. English people, we expect English people are booing their own players for taking the knee. We're going to see, obviously, bigger crowds now. Uh, how worried are you that this is going to take over? Um, I, I try not to worry about it. Um, I just focus on ourselves. I feel like the group we have, you know, very diverse and everyone's together. Um, you know, we we hope that UEFA, you know, will take, you know, stricter actions and, you know, find a solution. It is a difficult, um, you know, tax because this is this has been going on for many years and it won't be, um, we won't find a result or a solution overnight. It will take time to get a result. But we just, you know, I'm so happy that we continue to, you know, show how important it is to accept everybody, you know, for who they are and, uh, you know, just educate people. I'm so proud of the team and how, you know, we stood strong together and uh, took a knee. Owen Kowser, please. You've lost me, but um, thanks very much for your time. Thank you, Chidoti. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Owen Kowser. Hey, Chidoti. I mean, with those chances when you came on, were you thinking of a good way to, well, ram those boos down the coast? Yeah, I know early on in the game, I was just hoping that I'd come on and get an opportunity um, just to score in front of their fans. But maybe it was the best thing that it didn't happen because I might have let my emotions get in bed of me with us any sort of celebrations I would have done <laughs> but um, yeah I just you know tried to score really trying to help the team but you know a good result here especially against a team that you know getting ready for um, Euros and a strong squad they had and you can see the quality they had in the first half but you know just to get this opportunity in this big stage is truly a blessing yeah and uh, how's the week on for you uh, the week is very good. I really enjoyed myself. So you know, I've learned a lot. The experience where you know <clears throat> players like Seamus Coleman playing in the Premier League, John Egan, and some of my fellow teammate, you know, um, opponents that I meet in the league. You know, so you learn so much, and I get to know everyone. And I feel like um, you know they accepted me really well, and um, I'm leaving here with you know invaluable um, information and experience. All right, thanks, Chidelzy. Thank you. Okay, we're a bit short on time there, so just one question each from now on in, please. Damien. Thank you, Josie. Uh, can I just ask what it means to you to be the first African-born player to, to represent Ireland at senior level? Oh, it's, it's truly a blessing. It's a big, it's a big moment for me, myself and my family. Um, as I said, you know, I want to inspire, inspire a, a, any young player, um, most importantly being from League of Ireland, and you know, coming from that tough um, structure of football, you know, just to you know, showcase what uh, if you believe and never give up, what what can happen. You know, to be you know, obviously titled the first African born is you know, I'm really blessed, and it's a, it's a huge honour, and you know, something that I want to inspire everyone else um, to you know, to to follow their dreams. Thank you. Well Thank you, Paul Lennon. With one question, please. Sorry, uh, Chidozi, uh, uh, congratulations on, on your debut. You look very, very alert, very smart when you came on tonight. Um, were you surprised how quickly you got into the game, even though you were only on for a few minutes? Yeah, first of all, you know, it was a few minutes left in the game. So, and you know, the boys were, you know, to get a good result here, nil-nil, obviously, it didn't, you know, it's still a good result against a, a good team. So, obviously, came on and I just had one goal and, you know, one aim is to just to cause havoc and get at defenders because I know they will be a bit fatigued during this time of the game. So you know, it was, it was a, you know, my teammates made it easier for me because they were giving me some nice balls in behind, and so I really enjoyed myself. It was, it was a really good night to come on. And we'll Thank finish you. with Paula here. 
to Dunsley, how are you doing? Um, what would it mean to you to be involved again in the World Cup qualifiers come September? And will you be studying Portugal during the Euros? <laughs> uh, firstly, I, I will, you know, this is a really wake up call. Um, I've gotten the first taste of it. I'm more hungry now for more and um, I'm more driven. So I will take, you know, pre season, I will, you know, be sharp and trying to be as fit as I can. Um, you know, come the season, give all I can because this, obviously getting this opportunity and, you know, these opportunities don't come too easy. So I will, I will work twice as hard to be here and I'm, I really enjoyed it here. And, you know, that's what my aim is now. I'm so driven and I'm, you know, I don't want to miss this opportunity coming and I will do everything I can to, to hopefully be an option for the manager. Okay, guys, we're just going to have to end it there. So just a reminder on that and Darker, that is 6 